guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another meal prep video i've already started i just got this stuff out of the way so we have some grapes here that are all washed up and ready to eat i have some cucumbers here i had two big cucumbers to use up this week so i went ahead and just only did cucumbers for my veggies we have some cilantro which i'm going to use some of that for my meal prep here coming up then we have some green onions these bell peppers i'm going to use also for one of the things I'm gonna show you, and then strawberries to have in my yogurt. So that is phase one. We are gonna be doing some breakfast burritos and then a couple different wraps for lunches. The first wrap we're gonna do is going to be a copycat of Red Robin's whiskey barbecue wrap, which I'm not gonna do the whole entire thing. I'm just gonna do kind of the inside of it. And then that way when it is time to have lunch, I can just literally put it into a tortilla, wrap it up, and it's ready to go. First, show you the part that we're going to be prepping, which will be the chicken. So I'm just gonna take some of the rotisserie chicken breast strips, put them in the air fryer, chop them up, and add in some of this no sugar added barbecue sauce. I'm gonna chop up my red onion, and then we have some fat-free cheddar here. So I'm just gonna combine all of that, and we'll have the inside of our wrap. So then the day that I have this for lunch, then the only thing I need to add to it will be, of course, your tortilla here, which this is the large La Banterita ones that are two points and only 80 calories. We'll add in some of these tortilla strips and you can use any of them that you'd like. This is a Santa Fe. We'll add on some ranch and then we'll add on some lettuce and then we'll have a nice big wrap. So stay tuned for my what I eat in a week video that will be up later in the week and you can see how these wraps come together. But I just thought if I had the main portion of it prepped, then I would have no excuse not to have a nice, healthy, yummy meal. And plus it'd just be super quick, you know, just put it all together, bam, roll it up and we are ready to go with lunch. Second wrap option that I'm going to have this week is gonna be a Hawaiian barbecue. So we'll be using the same chicken, the same barbecue sauce, we're gonna add some pineapple chunks. We have the onion, the cheese, and then some cilantro. And then the only thing I have to add to that would just be some shredded lettuce and of course our tortilla. So I'm gonna get both of these wraps all together. And then like I said, those are be all ready for lunch and it's two completely different wraps, but we're using utilizing some of the same ingredients, which really helps with using things up in your refrigerator and not having to buy so many different ingredients, but you're getting kind of a whole different meal. I apologize, I had to switch over to a voiceover. My dogs were not cooperating with my filming time and they were barking at everything. So we have our chicken here, so I have my scale. I'm just weighing out, it's sitting on my scale, I should say. I'm just weighing out um, how much this total chicken is. I'm gonna divide that in half so I can put half in each of my bowls, but also so I know when I put it into my tracker, um, I know accurately how many ounces um, are in each of my different recipes here. So I'm gonna chop that up, but yeah, that's what, that's what I suggest that you do if you're doing these big batches, just weigh it out so I just have my scale sitting there. So we're gonna do a half a cup each of this um, Sweet Baby Ray's I think it's just called, is it just called Ray's now? Like what happened to the Sweet Baby? <laughs> I swear it used to be called Sweet Baby Ray's. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a half a cup in each one of these. So since these use very similar ingredients, then I'm just going to make these two at the same time. So again, that's why there's an advantage of using the same ingredients in some of your meals. Um, less things you have to buy, easier to prep, but you're getting a different meal, you know, each time. So I just put a half a cup in each. So that'd be a quarter cup for each serving, basically. And I believe that's zero points. That'd be like four tablespoons. So that would be zero points for this um, this barbecue sauce, which is really good. I really I like this more than the G Hughes probably. I think the G Hughes is a little bit too sweet for me. We're gonna add in some red onion. Again, these kind of things are always optional if you're not an onion person. I just think it adds a lot to the wraps. And then we're gonna add in some cheese. So I weighed out um, two servings of cheese. So I decided to do the reduced fat mozzarella in the Hawaiian one instead of the cheddar. I just thought it would um, mix it up just a little bit. I need to use this up. So I weighed out 28 grams of that. So since these are each two servings in each of these bowls, so I did 28 grams of the cheddar, 28 grams of the 
reduced fat mozzarella. And I'm going to put some cilantro in the Hawaiian one. I'm not going to put it in the, in the other one because that's not part of the regular recipe from what I could tell on the website. Um, the Red Robin website, I just went on there and looked and seen what was inside. Um, I'm also adding, of course, some pineapple to the Hawaiian one. I did rinse this pineapple really well. This is pineapple and pineapple juice, which I guess technically if you scanned it, it would scan with points, but I always just rinse it off. So I don't count points for fruit that's in juices like that because like I said, you can just rinse it off. And that's what I always do with the pineapple anyway, because I want it to kind of dry a little bit before putting into the mixture because I don't want it to, you know, make it all runny. So this one's a little bit harder to mix up because it's a little bit chunkier, but I'll tell you that barbecue sauce just had such a good like smell to it. I can't wait to have this and I will heat this up before I put it in my wraps just so you know. So now I'm going to give you points for these and the points are going to be for the, the entire wrap including tortilla, the tortilla strips, the onion, crispy onions. It's going to be everything, the points and calories here on the screen. Because I wanted you, for one, I wanted to put my tracker that way, but also I want you to know what the entire wrap was going to be. So it actually came out pretty well. The Hawaiian barbecue one is a little bit higher because the mozzarella cheese is three points, so it's a little bit more in points. But stay tuned for my weekly What I Eat in a Week video, and you'll see how these wraps come together. I am super excited for these. I was going to do some breakfast burritos, but I think because I'm having so many wraps, and sometimes if I have too many, it can affect you know, stomach issues. Although these La Bantarita, I don't seem to have those same issues, but just want to be careful. I think I'm going to do some egg scramble bowls. So I want to use these up and these are so good. So I'm going to do three of them. So I'm going to cook these up in the air fryer because that is the best way to cook them. And then I'm going to scramble up three eggs and some egg whites along with some of these um, peppers. And then we'll top it off with some cheese and then I'll just have three um little like egg scramble bowls to have for breakfast during the week. Make sure that I can accurately measure these for um, tracking. I'm gonna make sure I cut these into the same amount of link, um, little circles. And then that way when I, I just throw them all in the air fryer at once, and then I can make sure I have a serving and that's accurate for my tracking. So we'll just kind of make sure that whatever this first one is, I cut them all the same amount and that's kind of my little trick for that that way you don't have to do three separate times in your air fryer to make sure you have the right amount of sausage and like i said these are really good i picked these up at safeway it's a safeway brand highly highly recommend these guys my air fryer is on so it's gonna be really loud but i have a one cup of egg whites here with three whole eggs i'm gonna cook my veggies just a little bit first before i add in the eggs and then I'll just top it off with the cheese. And then when the sausages are done, we'll just add those to the meal prep containers. For seasoning, I'm using Kinder's The Blend. And here are the breakfast balls. So you can see here, and obviously I know that since the little coins are not cut up exactly equal, I'm still not gonna get the exact amount, but I think I came pretty dang close considering that I at least made sure I had 12 in each bowl. But yep, here are the breakfast bowls, lots of protein. I will have calories, points, and protein here up on the screen. This meal prep took less than 30 minutes and I have three breakfasts, I have four lunches, we have some fruit and veggies for snacking and it really did not take a lot of work. I mean, it was just, you know, like I said, I was not very inspired this week. So for this to come together, I feel really, really happy about that because I just wasn't sure what today was going to bring and with meal prepping because I just have been so uninspired lately. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration, shows you can do meal prep. You don't have to take a long time to do it and you still have some great meals, high protein, low calorie filling meals. So thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.